Good morning. <laughs> um, so it's Sunday morning and it's early and I have been called to talk about something. Uh, it might go over a few heads. Um, I'm sure there's going to be lots of people out there that don't like what I'm about to say. Um, but I thought I would just share my thoughts on it and, and how it comes to me. Um, uh, I'll just show you this. So I was walking, I was in town on, um, Friday, um, doing some work and, um, and there was um, a speaker in town um, on a microphone and uh, you couldn't actually hear him <laughs> very clearly <laughs> and I was sort of thinking that, <laughs> okay I'm just going to say what I was thinking because I just think it's really funny but so you couldn't actually, he had a microphone and a big speaker and you couldn't actually hear what he was saying because um, it was a little bit windy so it was taking the sound away and also his mic, he hadn't got his microphone set up and it was like distorted to the point where you couldn't actually tell one word from another one. It was sort of like all joined together. So I stood and I tried to listen to what he was actually talking about. And it seemed very much like doomsday kind of stuff, you know, like we're all going to hell and um, you need to follow Jesus Christ and all this kind of stuff. And uh, and the reason why I found it funny, because I just saw and I was thinking to myself, if God really, if you were really speaking the words of God, then your microphone would be so loud and so clear. <laughs> um, and, you know, and the wind would not be there because God would want everyone to hear <laughs> what you were saying. Um, and I'll just, and I'm laughing because... I just, I, I, for me, for me, okay, this is just for me, I think God has humour, okay, God has humour, laughter to, to me is so healing, and I think if you can, what's that saying, if you can laugh in the face of danger, like, that, that for me is everything, like, um, so that's just one 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 part of it. I just found it so funny. And I was sort of there standing, watching, you know. And also watching people be quite angry with him, you know, that he was there doing his thing. Um, and especially a lot of older ladies that were walking past were, you know, getting very um, rattled by him. Um and I was thinking, was it what he was saying? Say <coughs> Sorry. Tickly. Was it what he was saying? Or was it the fact that they couldn't hear what he was saying? You know, that it was really annoying and sounded pretty horrible and droney. And... So uh, the, these are the things I think about. Anyway, so to 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 go on to the actual point that I'm well that was one of the points I'm trying to make but the main thing so I, I went and grabbed one of the leaflets now when I'm out with my friends and we walk past uh, these kind of people my friends always say you know and they get given leaflets my friends always say things like oh this is your kind of thing Gemma <laughs> and it is my kind of thing I am really interested in this kind of thing and, and what people have to say and what people have to say about anything so I grabbed a, a leaflet and I've just sort of been, and it, and it says on the front, I'll just read it for you. It says, someday you will stand before God and there's um, a gavel. 
do you call it a gavel? The little hammer thing. So this is obviously just this. And it says, you must have his righteousness. The good news is his impromptu righteousness is a free gift through faith alone in Jesus Christ. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then it's it's a two page spread of um, from from base. I'll, I'll read you a bit of it in a sec, but um, it <laughs> this it's full of Bible extracts in here. You know, uh, Romans ten thirteen, Timothy one fifteen. You know, it's. it's it's jam-packed with, you know, apparently the word of God. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm going to get shot in the neck for this. But, um, like, <clears throat> I feel like there's a lot of misinformation about God and God's word and this kind of, you know terminologies and and all this kind of thing for me and I'm speaking for me I'm not saying this is exactly the way it is but this is the way that I feel about it um god right uh, let me just break it down so so simply this is the way I think about it right god the word god is is love it's that simple okay and the devil is fear love and fear that's that's it right so we're not for, from the rest of the time on, we're not going to say god and the devil we're going to say love and fear because to me that's how simple the uh and those two things those two feelings carry a frequency right i believe in energy i believe that everything is energy i believe god is a frequency. I believe the devil is a frequency, right? Okay. And it, it literally can be broken. Every single thing in the world can be broken down to those two things. Now, when I when I read stuff like this, um, and it, I mean. It's it's it says it says this this one bit in it basically saying that you can't um, you can't earn God or you can't um, where does it say faith in Jesus Christ is the only way to get God's righteousness faith is the complete trust or dependency upon someone. The Bible says that Jesus Christ died to pay for our, for your sins and purchase the righteousness of God for you. You may stop trying to earn it. Instead, place your complete faith in Jesus Christ to receive it. The Bible says, but to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted but for righteousness. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all of them that believe. Then you will not have fear your judgment day, because in your heart you will know that your will be found in him. Right. Right. God, God doesn't talk in fear. <laughs> in that language in those words god does not communicate in that frequency and it boggles my mind how people can say that that is the word of god god doesn't speak to people in fear and that that is what is that is what that is <laughs> like the the whole the whole text is very much like you can't do anything to earn god's favor you can't um you have to basically sign yourself over to to the you know to god and to church and to jesus christ and all this sort of stuff like 
I have so many conversations about this kind of thing and like <clears throat> and like the teachings of um you know there's loads of different sects and stuff that are going on um different forms of Chris Christianity and Catholicism and things like regardless of the of the teachings um I believe that uh God and the devil coexist together just for example so Jesus Christ Jesus our savior um he he was a man he was a man like any one of us and he he was seen to be the devil why do you think he ended up being crucified there was masses and masses and masses of people that were completely uh, convinced that Jesus was <clears throat> a terrible, horrendous um, person. He was a threat. At, at the time when Jesus was doing what he was doing, he was seen as being a bad person. But then in other people's eyes, he was the saviour. He was even handed over to the Romans by by one of the, the people, you know, one of his disciples. It is perception. It is. Let, let me just break this down for you. Your mind. Your perception. Of any given time, person, circumstance is whether you bring in God, love, devil, fear. That's how powerful you are. Okay. Now I'm going to say what I believe and see if it resonates with you. I believe that God is in us because I believe that God is nature. It's a frequency. It's love. Nature is abundant. God is abundant. Love is abundant. You can have anything that you want. Anything is possible when you carry the frequency of God, love, nature. It's all the same thing. You can have anything you want. I don't need to take from anybody. I don't need to deceive anybody. I don't need to put others down. I don't need to take. I don't need to lie, cheat, steal. I don't need to hurt anybody. All the commandments I can carry out without a second thought. Because I have the frequency of God. The frequency of love. The frequency of abundance. I don't even have to try. Because I am tapped into that frequency. It's a frequency. It's a way that you live your life. It's a way that you think about things. And it literally is that simple. The power of thought is whether you channel God or if you channel the devil. In every single thought process, in every single moment, that is how powerful you are. And I'll just go on a little bit further. This no, and obviously the teaching speak of you get into the pearly gates and then someone decides whether you're going to heaven or hell. This is taking your power away from you further. You are being judged. This gavel is happening right now in every single moment. God is with you every single moment of every single day and he sees everything that you do because God is you. <laughs> so if you if you say for example someone says there's there's a phone on the floor there, you know, like that man's dropped it. There's a phone on the floor down there. And you and 
and you and you say like i'm not going to pick i'm i'm you know i'm not going to take it i'm not going to take it but then that that person leaves right that person leaves so there's no one to witness what you're about to do and you choose to take that phone no one else sees no one else knows like n there is no way that nobody else will know but you know and god knows because you are god you know that horrible feeling you get when you do something that you know you're not meant to? That's God. <laughs> Heaven and hell is the exactly the same frequency as God and as the devil. And it exists right at this moment. Everything, ex I've done posts about time and things like that. Everything exists at this moment in time. I live in heaven right now. When I die, I'm going to become the trees and the plants and the birds and everything else. I don't stop being this energy. I will become, I will, you know, I believe that I will probably go to another life. I believe that my earthly body will hopefully go to, um, you know, make other people better if they're poorly and the rest of it will go to the earth and I will become other things. That's that's nature. That's God. I don't stop. I will not stop. Dying is a myth. You just transmute into something else. There is there is no pearly gates. Where is that? Where is that in the sky? In the blue sky? Into the space? And where is hell? Through the floor? Underneath the crust of the earth? Just, just things to think about. I'm not saying that my way is the highway, but... This is this is what comes to me. This is this is this is what I've been taught. Believing that God is somewhere else, believing that God will fix things for you, believing that you um <clears throat> that that God will come and strike you down um if you do something that he doesn't agree with. And to be fair, I don't think God is a he. I think God is is both he is he is yin and yang he is when he's moving mountains he's a man and when he's uh you know tending to plants and and loving baby chicks he's he's, he's a, a woman you know it is both it is all god is all and fear comes in both male and female too it's a it's a frequency and um this whole thing about being judged. The only person that can judge you is you. And this is where karma comes in. The energy that you put out into the world is the energy that you will get back. Like, like for example, I'm, I'm, I'm not here for your money. I'm not here to try and curb your brain into thinking the way that I do. I'm not here to um, save you. I'm not here to, um, you know, tell you how to live your life. I'm not here to uh, deceive you in any way. Um, I'm here just to give you the messages and and uh, deliver the information that come, that gets channeled through to me. I... I turn up as authentically as I can um, because, because that's God. God can stand in front of you and, and, and say the truth as it is without having to spin it, you know, or, or make it more, uh, more, What's the word I'm looking for? 
Malcolm X said, <laughs> it's not no hustle. That's God's, God's frequency, God's words, God's, um, God's teachings. The way of God is not a hustle. Like, like I have, <laughs> I have a piece of wire holding up my pajamas. You know, like, <laughs> um, I need to wash my hair. You know, like when it's when it's when it's from God, it comes as it is. There's no bullshit. <laughs> There's no, there's no fluffy bits. There's no, there's no special offer. There's no, there's no buy this and get this free. That's not, that's not God's frequency. That's fear-based. That's fear-based and that comes from the devil. If you've got somebody sat there in, um, in a, in a face full of makeup, you know, who literally looks like somebody else compared to what they usually look like, trying to sell you a product that makes them look like that, that is fear-based. It's fear-based. And it's a lie. <laughs> and this... There's so there's so many things I could I feel like I need to do about five different videos to discuss this at length. Just just for example, just think about this: when someone is trying to tell you something and they say so and so said, like your friend said or this person said, or that's that's a type of deception. It's a type of manipulation. If um, if someone's trying to give you something whilst they're trying to make you buy something else, that is also fear-based. Products and services and information. If it's coming at you from a place of manipulation or... Um, It's fear-based. It's devil thinking. If someone's trying to make you feel bad for something that you're doing so that you will buy something that they're offering or that you will like this, this is literally got the devil frequency all the way over it. God doesn't speak like this. This is fear-based frequency. The words, everything. The gavel on the front, like... It... 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 it you're not, you're not going to get anybody to listen to you speaking like this. I'm just going to put that out there. This isn't nature. This isn't connecting with self, okay? Like... Um, how can I, how can I close this? I feel, I feel like I want to do about 10 more videos on this. This is, um, how can I finish? I just, I just want to finish by saying that heaven and earth, uh, heaven and hell exist in, in any given moment. God and the devil exist in any given choice. Knowing, knowing who you are is knowing God. Because God is all things. And that's what Jesus was trying to teach people. He was working with people who were poor he was working with the lepers because he was saying that they were the same as everybody else that was his teaching he washed all of his disciples feet he didn't just wash his favorite ones he washed all of the disciples feet including judas because he understood 
that people who are hurt need just as much love as the people that aren't. There's so much that I want to say about it. But basically, on this Sunday morning, that's my little sermon. <laughs> Not saying that I'm... All, all I want to bring to this platform, to this... Um, to whatever we want to call this, to YouTube, to Instagram, whatever platform that I use, I... My mission is to is to help you understand the power that is inside you, the power of your choices, the power that you hold within yourself, the gifts, the abundance, the love, the opportunities all reside within you. Nowhere else. I have got myself through the darkest, most horrible situations in my life, not by praying for somebody else to fix my problems but praying to find the strength within myself to be able to achieve the things that I want to achieve and that is all that I want for everyone out there because it's it's it is literally just that simple the power of choice Have a lovely weekend. Oh, and listen to uh, What a Beautiful Day by The Levelers. I've completely forgot to say that at the start of the video. Listen to The Levelers, A Beautiful Day.